Banana, Wikipedia article audio. A banana is an edible fruit a euro botanically a berry a euro produced by several kinds of large herbaceous flowering plants in the genus Musa. In some countries, bananas used for cooking may be called plantains, in contrast to dessert bananas. The fruit is variable in size, color, and firmness, but is usually elongated and curved, with soft flesh rich in starch covered with a rind which may be green, yellow, red, purple, or brown when ripe. The fruits grow in clusters hanging from the top of the plant. Almost all modern edible parthenocarpic bananas come from two wild species a Euro Musa acuminata and Musa balbis iana. The scientific names of most cultivated bananas are Musa acuminata, Musa balbis iana, and Musa a paradisiaca for the hybrid Musa acuminata a m balbis iana, depending on their genomic constitution. The old scientific name Musa sapientum is no longer used. Musa species are native to tropical Indomalaya and Australia and are likely to have been first domesticated in Papua New Guinea. They are grown in 135 countries, primarily for their fruit, and to a lesser extent to make fiber, banana wine, and banana beer and as ornamental plants. The world's largest producers of bananas in 2016 were India and China, which together accounted for 28% of total production. Description Etymology Worldwide, there is no sharp distinction between bananas and plantains. Especially in the Americas and Europe, banana usually refers to soft, sweet, dessert bananas, particularly those of the Cavendish group, which are the main exports from banana-growing countries. By contrast, Musa cultivars with firmer, starchier fruit are called plantains. In other regions, such as Southeast Asia, many more kinds of banana are grown and eaten, so the binary distinction is not useful and is not made in local languages. The term banana is also used as the common name for the plants that produce the fruit. This can extend to other members of the genus Musa such as the scarlet banana, the pink banana, and the FEI bananas. It can also refer to members of the genus Ensit, such as the snow banana and the economically important false banana. Both genera are in the banana family, Musaceae. The banana plant is the largest herbaceous flowering plant. All the above ground parts of a banana plant grow from a structure usually called a corm. Plants are normally tall and fairly sturdy, and are often mistaken for trees, but what appears to be a trunk is actually a false stem or pseudostem. Bananas grow in a wide variety of soils, as long as the soil is at least 60 cm deep, has good drainage and is not compacted. The leaves of banana plants are composed of a stalk and a blade. The base of the petiole widens to form a sheath, the tightly packed sheaths make up the pseudostem, which is all that supports the plant. The edges of the sheath meet when it is first produced, making it tubular. As new growth occurs in the center of the pseudostem the edges are forced apart. Cultivated banana plants vary in height depending on the variety and growing conditions. Most are around 5 m tall, with a range from dwarf Cavendish plants at around 3 m to grow Michelle at 7 m or more. Leaves are spirally arranged and may grow 2.7 meters long and 60 centimeters wide. They are easily torn by the wind, resulting in the familiar frond look. When a banana plant is mature, the corm stops producing new leaves and begins to form a flower spike or inflorescence. A stem develops which grows up inside the pseudostem, 
carrying the immature inflorescence until eventually it emerges at the top. Each pseudostem normally produces a single inflorescence, also known as the banana heart. After fruiting, the pseudostem dies, but offshoots will normally have developed from the base, so that the plant as a whole is perennial. In the plantation system of cultivation, only one of the offshoots will be allowed to develop in order to maintain spacing. The inflorescence contains many bracts between rows of flowers. The female flowers appear in rows further up the stem from the rows of male flowers. The ovary is inferior, meaning that the tiny petals and other flower parts appear at the tip of the ovary. The banana fruits develop from the banana heart, in a large hanging cluster, made up of tiers, with up to 20 fruit to a tier. The hanging cluster is known as a bunch, comprising 3 a euro 20 tiers, or commercially as a banana stem, and can weigh 3 zero a euro 50 kilograms. Individual banana fruits average 125 grams of which approximately 75% is water and 25% dry matter. Taxonomy The fruit has been described as a leathery berry. There is a protective outer layer with numerous long, thin strings, which run lengthwise between the skin and the edible inner portion. The inner part of the common yellow dessert variety can be split lengthwise into three sections that correspond to the inner portions of the three carpels by manually deforming the unopened fruit. In cultivated varieties, the seeds are diminished nearly to non-existence, their remnants are tiny black specks in the interior of the fruit. Bananas are naturally slightly radioactive, more so than most other fruits because of their potassium content and the small amounts of the isotope potassium-40 found in naturally occurring potassium. The banana equivalent dose of radiation is sometimes used in nuclear communication to compare radiation levels and exposures. Bananas and plantains The word banana is thought to be of West African origin, possibly from the Wolof word banana and passed into English via Spanish or Portuguese. The genus Musa was created by Carl Linnaeus in 1753. The name may be derived from Antonius Musa, physician to the Emperor Augustus, or Linnaeus may have adapted the Arabic word for banana, mouse. The old biological name Musa sapientum equals Muse of the Wise arose because of homophony in Latin with the classical muses. Musa is in the family Musaceae. The APG3 system assigns Musaceae to the order Zingiberales, part of the cumlinid clade of the monocotyledonous flowering plants. Some 70 species of Musa were recognized by the World Checklist of Selected Plant Families as of January 2013, several produce edible fruit, while others are cultivated as ornamentals. Historical Cultivation The classification of cultivated bananas has long been a problematic issue for taxonomists. Linnaeus originally placed bananas into two species based only on their uses as food, Musa sapientum for dessert bananas and Musa paradisiaca for plantains. More species names were added, but this approach proved to be inadequate for the number of cultivars in the primary center of diversity of the genus, Southeast Asia. Many of these cultivars were given names that were later discovered to be synonyms. Early Cultivation In a series of papers published from 1947 onwards, Ernest Cheeseman showed that Linnaeus's Musa sapientum and Musa paradisiaca were cultivars and descendants of two wild seed-producing species, Musa acuminata and Musa balbis iana, both first described by Luigi Aloysius Calla. 
Cheeseman recommended the abolition of Linnaeus's species in favor of reclassifying bananas according to three morphologically distinct groups of cultivars a euro those primarily exhibiting the botanical characteristics of Musa balbis iana, those primarily exhibiting the botanical characteristics of Musa acuminata, and those with characteristics of both. Researchers Norman Simmons and Ken Shepard proposed a genome-based nomenclature system in 1955. This system eliminated almost all the difficulties and inconsistencies of the earlier classification of bananas based on assigning scientific names to cultivated varieties. Despite this, the original names are still recognized by some authorities today, leading to confusion. Plantation Cultivation in the Caribbean, Central and South America The accepted scientific names for most groups of cultivated bananas are Musa acuminata kala and Musa balbis iana kala for the ancestral species, and Musa a paradisiaca l for the hybrid M. acuminata a M. balbis iana. Synonyms of M. a paradisica include Peasant cultivation for export in the Caribbean Generally, modern classifications of banana cultivars follow Simmons and Shepard's system. Cultivars are placed in groups based on the number of chromosomes they have and which species they are derived from. Thus the Latin Dan banana is placed in the OB group, showing that it is a triploid derived from both M. acuminata and M. balbis iana. For a list of the cultivars classified under this system, see List of Banana Cultivars. In 2012, a team of scientists announced they had achieved a draft sequence of the genome of Musa acuminata. In regions such as North America and Europe, Musa fruits offered for sale can be divided into bananas and plantains, based on their intended use as food. Thus the banana producer and distributor Chiquita produces publicity material for the American market which says that a plantain is not a banana. The stated differences are that plantains are more starchy and less sweet, they are eaten cooked rather than raw, they have thicker skin, which may be green, yellow or black, and they can be used at any stage of ripeness. Linnaeus made the same distinction between plantains and bananas when first naming two species of Musa. Members of the plantain subgroup of banana cultivars, most important as food in West Africa and Latin America, correspond to the Chiquita description, having long pointed fruit. They are described by Plotz etal as true plantains, distinct from other cooking bananas. The cooking bananas of East Africa belong to a different group, the East African Highland bananas, so would not qualify as true plantains on this definition. An alternative approach divides bananas into dessert bananas and cooking bananas, with plantains being one of the subgroups of cooking bananas. Triploid cultivars derived solely from M. acuminata are examples of dessert bananas whereas triploid cultivars derived from the hybrid between M. acuminata and M. balbinosa are plantains. Small farmers in Colombia grow a much wider range of cultivars than large commercial plantations. A study of these cultivars showed that they could be placed into at least three groups based on their characteristics, dessert bananas, non-plantain cooking bananas, and plantains although there were overlaps between dessert and cooking bananas. In Southeast Asia a euro the center of diversity for bananas, both wild and cultivated a euro the distinction between bananas and plantains does not work, according to Valmayer etl. Many bananas are used both raw and cooked. There are starchy cooking bananas which are smaller than those eaten raw. The range of colors, sizes, and shapes is far wider than in those grown or sold in Africa, Europe or the Americas. 
Southeast Asian languages do not make the distinction between bananas and plantains that is made in English. Thus both Cavendish cultivars, the classic yellow dessert bananas, and Saba cultivars, used mainly for cooking, are called Pisang in Malaysia and Indonesia, Klue in Thailand and Chui in Vietnam. Fei bananas, grown and eaten in the islands of the Pacific, are derived from entirely different wild species than traditional bananas and plantains. Most Fei bananas are cooked, but carrot bananas, which are short and squat with bright red skins, very different from the usual yellow dessert bananas, are eaten raw. East Africa In summary, in commerce in Europe and the Americas, it is possible to distinguish between bananas, which are eaten raw, and plantains, which are cooked. In other regions of the world, particularly India, Southeast Asia, and the islands of the Pacific, there are many more kinds of banana and the twofold distinction is not useful and not made in local languages. Plantains are one of many kinds of cooking bananas, which are not always distinct from dessert bananas. Modern Cultivation Farmers in Southeast Asia and Papua New Guinea first domesticated bananas. Recent archaeological and paleo-environmental evidence at Kook Swamp in the Western Highlands province of Papua New Guinea suggests that banana cultivation there goes back to at least 5000 BCE, and possibly to 8000 BCE. It is likely that other species were later and independently domesticated elsewhere in Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is the region of primary diversity of the banana. Areas of secondary diversity are found in Africa, indicating a long history of banana cultivation in the region. A large number of subspecific and varietal names of M. a. paradisiaca including M. p. subsp. sapientum cunts, Musa a. daca horan, Musa a. sapidisiaca k. c. jacob, nom. Superflo, Musa a. sapientum l, and a large number of its varietal names, including M. a. sapientum var. Paradisiaca baker, nom. Ileg. Phytolith discoveries in Cameroon dating to the 1st millennium BCE triggered an as yet unresolved debate about the date of first cultivation in Africa. There is linguistic evidence that bananas were known in Madagascar around that time. The earliest prior evidence indicates that cultivation dates to no earlier than late 6th century CE. It is likely, however, that bananas were brought at least to Madagascar if not to the East African coast during the phase of Malagasy colonization of the island from Southeast Asia c. 400 CE. The banana may also have been present in isolated locations elsewhere in the Middle East on the eve of Islam. The spread of Islam was followed by far-reaching diffusion. There are numerous references to it in Islamic texts beginning in the 9th century. By the 10th century the banana appears in texts from Palestine and Egypt. From there it diffused into North Africa and Muslim Iberia. During the medieval ages, bananas from Granada were considered among the best in the Arab world. In 650, Islamic conquerors brought the banana to Palestine. Today, banana consumption increases significantly in Islamic countries during Ramadan, the month of daylight fasting. Bananas were certainly grown in the Christian kingdom of Cyprus by the late medieval period. Writing in 1458, the Italian traveller and writer Gabriel Capota List wrote favourably of the extensive farm produce of the estates at Episcopi, near modern-day Limassol, including the region's banana plantations. Cavendish Ripening Storage and transport Production and export 
Bananas were introduced to the Americas by Portuguese sailors who brought the fruits from West Africa in the 16th century. Many wild banana species as well as cultivars exist in extraordinary diversity in India, China, and Southeast Asia. There are fuzzy bananas whose skins are bubblegum pink, green and white striped bananas with pulp the color of orange sherbet, bananas that, when cooked, taste like strawberries. The double mahoi plant can produce two bunches at once. The Chinese name of the aromatic Go San Hiang banana means you can smell it from the next mountain. The fingers on one banana plant grow fused, another produces bunches of a thousand fingers, each only an inch long. In the 15th and 16th centuries, Portuguese colonists started banana plantations in the Atlantic Islands, Brazil, and Western Africa. North Americans began consuming bananas on a small scale at very high prices shortly after the Civil War, though it was only in the 1880s that the food became more widespread. As late as the Victorian era, bananas were not widely known in Europe, although they were available. Jules Verne introduces bananas to his readers with detailed descriptions in Around the World in 80 Days. The earliest modern plantations originated in Jamaica and the related Western Caribbean zone, including most of Central America. It involved the combination of modern transportation networks of steamships and railroads with the development of refrigeration that allowed more time between harvesting and ripening. North American shippers like Lorenzo Dow Baker and Andrew Preston, the founders of the Boston Fruit Company started this process in the 1870s, but railroad builders like Miner C. Keith also participated, eventually culminating in the multinational giant corporations like today's Chiquita Brands International and Dole. These companies were monopolistic, vertically integrated and usually used political manipulation to build enclave economies. Their political maneuvers, which gave rise to the term Banana Republic for states like Honduras and Guatemala, included working with local elites and their rivalries to influence politics or playing the international interests of the United States, especially during the Cold War, to keep the political climate favorable to their interests. The vast majority of the world's bananas today are cultivated for family consumption or for sale on local markets. India is the world leader in this sort of production, but many other Asian and African countries where climate and soil conditions allow cultivation also host large populations of banana growers who sell at least some of their crop. Peasant sector banana growers produce for the world market in the Caribbean. However, the Windward Islands are notable for the growing, largely of Cavendish bananas, for an international market, generally in Europe but also in North America. In the Caribbean, and especially in Dominica where this sort of cultivation is widespread, holdings are in the 1A Euro 2 acre range. In many cases the farmer earns additional money from other crops from engaging in labor outside the farm, and from a share of the earnings of relatives living overseas. This style of cultivation often was popular in the islands as bananas required little labor input and brought welcome extra income. Banana crops are vulnerable to destruction by high winds, such as tropical storms or cyclones. Developing Countries after the signing of the NAFTA agreements in the 1990s, however, the tide turned against peasant producers. Their costs of production were relatively high and the end of favorable tariff and other supports, especially in the European Economic Community, made it difficult for peasant producers to compete with bananas grown on large plantations by the well-capitalized firms like Chiquita and Dole. Not only did the large companies have access to cheap labor in the areas they worked, 
but they were better able to afford modern agronomic advances such as fertilization. The dollar banana produced by these concerns made the profit margins for peasant bananas unsustainable. Caribbean countries have sought to redress this problem by providing government-supported agronomic services and helping to organize producers' cooperatives. They have also been supporters of the fair trade movement which seeks to balance the inequities in the world trade in commodities. Most farms supply local consumption. Cooking bananas represent a major food source and a major income source for smallhold farmers. In East Africa, highland bananas are of greatest importance as a staple food crop. In countries such as Uganda, Burundi and Rwanda per capita consumption has been estimated at 45 kg per year, the highest in the world. Pests, Diseases and Natural Disasters Panama Disease Tropical Race 4 All widely cultivated bananas today descend from the two wild bananas Musa acuminata and Musa balbis iana. While the original wild bananas contained large seeds, diploid or polyploid cultivars with tiny seeds are preferred for human raw fruit consumption. These are propagated asexually from offshoots. The plant is allowed to produce two shoots at a time, a larger one for immediate fruiting and a smaller sucker or follower to produce fruit in 6 a euro 8 months. The life of a banana plantation is 25 years or longer, during which time the individual stools or planting sites may move slightly from their original positions as lateral rhizome formation dictates. Cultivated bananas are parthenocarpic, i.e. the flesh of the fruit swells and ripens without its seeds being fertilized and developing. Lacking viable seeds, Propagation typically involves farmers removing and transplanting part of the underground stem. Usually this is done by carefully removing a sucker with some roots intact. However, small sympodial corms, representing not yet elongated suckers, are easier to transplant and can be left out of the ground for up to two weeks, they require minimal care and can be shipped in bulk. It is not necessary to include the corm or root structure to propagate bananas, severed suckers without root material can be propagated in damp sand, although this takes somewhat longer. In some countries, commercial propagation occurs by means of tissue culture. This method is preferred since it ensures disease-free planting material. When using vegetative parts such as suckers for propagation, there is a risk of transmitting diseases. As a non-seasonal crop, bananas are available fresh year-round. Black Sigatoka In global commerce in 2009, by far the most important cultivars belonged to the triploid triple A group of Musa acuminata commonly referred to as Cavendish Group Bananas. They accounted for the majority of banana exports, despite only coming into existence in 1836. The cultivars Dwarf Cavendish and Grand Nain gained popularity in the 1950s after the previous mass-produced cultivar, Gros Michel, became commercially unviable due to Panama disease caused by the fungus Fusarium oxysporum which attacks the roots of the banana plant. Cavendish cultivars are resistant to the Panama disease but in 2013 there were fears that the black cigatoca fungus would in turn make Cavendish bananas unviable. Ease of transport and shelf life rather than superior taste make the dwarf Cavendish the main export banana. Even though it is no longer viable for large-scale cultivation, Gros Michel is not extinct and is still grown in areas where Panama disease is not found. Likewise, Dwarf Cavendish and Grand Nain are in no danger of extinction, 
but they may leave supermarket shelves if disease makes it impossible to supply the global market. It is unclear if any existing cultivar can replace Cavendish bananas, so various hybridization and genetic engineering programs are attempting to create a disease-resistant, mass-market banana. Export bananas are picked green, and ripen in special rooms upon arrival in the destination country. These rooms are airtight and filled with ethylene gas to induce ripening. The vivid yellow color consumers normally associate with supermarket bananas is, in fact, caused by the artificial ripening process. Flavor and texture are also affected by ripening temperature. Bananas are refrigerated to between 13.5 and 15 A degrees C during transport. At lower temperatures, ripening permanently stalls, and the bananas turn gray as cell walls break down. The skin of ripe bananas quickly blackens in the 4A degree C environment of a domestic refrigerator, although the fruit inside remains unaffected. Tree-ripened Cavendish bananas have a greenish-yellow appearance which changes to a brownish-yellow as they ripen further. Although both flavor and texture of tree-ripened bananas is generally regarded as superior to any type of green-picked fruit, this reduces shelf life to only 7 a euro 10 days. Bananas can be ordered by the retailer Ungust, and may show up at the supermarket fully green. Guineos verdes that have not been gassed will never fully ripen before becoming rotten. Instead of fresh eating, these bananas can be used for cooking, as seen in Jamaican cuisine. A 2008 study reported that ripe bananas fluoresce when exposed to ultraviolet light. This property is attributed to the degradation of chlorophyll leading to the accumulation of a fluorescent product in the skin of the fruit. The chlorophyll breakdown product is stabilized by a propionate ester group. Banana plant leaves also fluoresce in the same way. Green bananas do not fluoresce. The study suggested that this allows animals which can see light in the ultraviolet spectrum to more easily detect ripened bananas. Bananas must be transported over long distances from the tropics to world markets. To obtain maximum shelf life, harvest comes before the fruit is mature. The fruit requires careful handling, rapid transport to ports, cooling, and refrigerated shipping. The goal is to prevent the bananas from producing their natural ripening agent, ethylene. This technology allows storage and transport for 3 a euro 4 weeks at 13 a degree C. On arrival, bananas are held at about 17 a degree C and treated with a low concentration of ethylene. After a few days, the fruit begins to ripen and is distributed for final sale. Unripe bananas cannot be held in home refrigerators because they suffer from the cold. Ripe bananas can be held for a few days at home. If bananas are too green, they can be put in a brown paper bag with an apple or tomato overnight to speed up the ripening process. Carbon dioxide and ethylene absorbance extend fruit life even at high temperatures. This effect can be exploited by packing banana in a polyethylene bag and including an ethylene absorbent, e.g., potassium permanganate, on an inert carrier. The bag is then sealed with a band or string. This treatment has been shown to more than double lifespans up to 3 a euro 4 weeks without the need for refrigeration. In 2016, World production of bananas and plantains was 148 million tons, led by India and China with a combined total of 28% of global production. Other major producers were the Philippines, Ecuador, Indonesia, and Brazil, together accounting for 20% of the world total of bananas and plantains. In East Africa Banana Bunchy Top Virus 
As reported for 2013, total world exports were 20 million tons of bananas and 859,000 tons of plantains. Ecuador and the Philippines were the leading exporters with 5.4 and 3.3 million tons, respectively, and the Dominican Republic was the leading exporter of plantains with 210,350 tons. Bananas and plantains constitute a major staple food crop for millions of people in developing countries. In most tropical countries, green bananas used for cooking represent the main cultivars. Most producers are small-scale farmers either for home consumption or local markets. Because bananas and plantains produce fruit year-round, they provide a valuable food source during the hunger season. Bananas and plantains are important for global food security. Banana Bacterial Wilt While in no danger of outright extinction, the most common edible banana cultivar Cavendish could become unviable for large-scale cultivation in the next 10A Euro 20 years. Its predecessor Gros Michel, discovered in the 1820s, suffered this fate. Like almost all bananas, Cavendish lacks genetic diversity, which makes it vulnerable to diseases, threatening both commercial cultivation and small-scale subsistence farming. Some commentators remarked that those variants which could replace what much of the world considers a typical banana are so different that most people would not consider them the same fruit and blame the decline of the banana on monogenetic cultivation driven by short-term commercial motives. Nutrition Culture Food and cooking Fruit Flower Leaves Trunk Fiber Textiles Paper Cultural Roles Arts Religion and Popular Beliefs Racist Symbol Panama disease is caused by a fusarium soil fungus, which enters the plants through the roots and travels with water into the trunk and leaves, producing gels and gums that cut off the flow of water and nutrients, causing the plant to wilt and exposing the rest of the plant to lethal amounts of sunlight. Prior to 1960, almost all commercial banana production centered on Gros Michel, which was highly susceptible. Cavendish was chosen as the replacement for Gros Michel because, among resistant cultivars, it produces the highest quality fruit. However, more care is required for shipping the Cavendish and its quality compared to Gros Michel is debated. According to current sources, a deadly form of Panama disease is infecting Cavendish. All plants are genetically identical, which prevents evolution of disease resistance. Researchers are examining hundreds of wild varieties for resistance. Tropical Race 4, a reinvigorated strain of Panama disease was first discovered in 1993. This virulent form of fusarium wilt has wiped out Cavendish in several Southeast Asian countries. It has yet to reach the Americas, however, the soil-based fungi can easily be carried on boots, clothing, or tools. This is how TR4 travels and will be its most likely route into Latin America. Cavendish is highly susceptible to TR4, and over time Cavendish will almost certainly be eliminated from commercial production by this disease. The only known defense to TR4 is genetic resistance, which remains undiscovered as of 2018. Black Cicatoca is a fungal leaf spot disease first observed in Fiji in 1963 or 1964. Black Cicatoca has spread to banana plantations throughout the tropics from infected banana leaves that were used as packing material. 
It affects all main cultivars of bananas and plantains, impeding photosynthesis by blackening parts of the leaves, eventually killing the entire leaf. Starved for energy, fruit production falls by 50% or more, and the bananas that do grow ripen prematurely, making them unsuitable for export. The fungus has shown ever-increasing resistance to treatment, with the current expense for treating one hectare exceeding $1,000 per year. In addition to the expense, there is the question of how long intensive spraying can be environmentally justified. Several resistant cultivars of banana have been developed, but none has yet received commercial acceptance due to taste and texture issues. With the arrival of Black Sagatoka, banana production in eastern Africa fell by over 40%. For example, during the 1970s, Uganda produced 15 to 20 tons of bananas per hectare. Today, production has fallen to only 6 tons per hectare. The situation has started to improve as new disease-resistant cultivars have been developed by the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture and the National Agricultural Research Organization of Uganda, such as FHIA-17. These new cultivars taste different from the cabana banana, which has slowed their acceptance by local farmers. However, by adding mulch and manure to the soil around the base of the plant, these new cultivars have substantially increased yields in the areas where they have been tried. The International Institute of Tropical Agriculture and NARO, funded by the Rockefeller Foundation and Geyer have started trials for genetically modified bananas that are resistant to both black cigatoka and banana weevils. It is developing cultivars specifically for smallholder and subsistence farmers. Banana bunchy top virus jumps from plant to plant using aphids. It stunts leaves, resulting in a bunched appearance. Generally, an infected plant does not produce fruit, although mild strains exist which allow some production. These mild strains are often mistaken for malnourishment or a disease other than BBTV. There is no cure, however, its effect can be minimized by planting only tissue-cultured plants, controlling aphids, and immediately removing and destroying infected plants. Banana bacterial wilt is a bacterial disease caused by Xanthomatous campstries PV. Muse serum after being originally identified on a close relative of bananas, Ensit ventricosum, in Ethiopia in the 1960s, BBW occurred in Uganda in 2001 affecting all banana cultivars. Since then BBW has been diagnosed in Central and East Africa including the banana growing regions of Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, Kenya, Burundi and Uganda. Raw bananas are 75% water, 23% carbohydrates, 1% protein, and contain negligible fat. In a 100 gram amount, bananas supply 89 calories and are a rich source of vitamin B6, providing 31% of the U.S. recommended daily value and contain moderate amounts of vitamin C, manganese, and dietary fiber. Although bananas are commonly thought to supply exceptional potassium content, their actual potassium content is relatively low per typical food serving at only 8% of the U.S. recommended daily value. Vegetables with higher potassium content than raw dessert bananas include raw spinach, baked potatoes without skin, cooked soybeans, grilled portobello mushrooms and processed tomato sauces. Raw plantains contain 499 mg potassium per 100 grams. Dehydrated dessert bananas or banana powder contain 1,491 mg potassium per 100 grams. 
individuals with a latex allergy may experience a reaction to bananas. Bananas are a staple starch for many tropical populations. Depending upon cultivar and ripeness, the flesh can vary in taste from starchy to sweet, and texture from firm to mushy. Both the skin and inner part can be eaten raw or cooked. The primary component of the aroma of fresh bananas is isoamyl acetate, which, along with several other compounds such as butyl acetate and isobutyl acetate, is a significant contributor to banana flavor. During the ripening process, bananas produce the gas ethylene, which acts as a plant hormone and indirectly affects the flavor. Among other things, ethylene stimulates the formation of amylase, an enzyme that breaks down starch into sugar, influencing the taste of bananas. The greener, less ripe bananas contain higher levels of starch and, consequently, have a starchier taste. On the other hand, yellow bananas taste sweeter due to higher sugar concentrations. Furthermore, ethylene signals the production of pectinase, an enzyme which breaks down the pectin between the cells of the banana, causing the banana to soften as it ripens. Bananas are eaten deep fried, baked in their skin in a split bamboo or steamed in glutinous rice wrapped in a banana leaf. Bananas can be made into jam. Banana pancakes are popular amongst backpackers and other travelers in South Asia and Southeast Asia. This has elicited the expression banana pancake trail for those places in Asia that cater to this group of travelers. Banana chips are a snack produced from sliced dehydrated or fried banana or plantain which have a dark brown color and an intense banana taste. Dried bananas are also ground to make banana flour. Extracting juice is difficult, because when a banana is compressed, it simply turns to pulp. Bananas feature prominently in Philippine cuisine, being part of traditional dishes and desserts like Maruya, Tura Superscript 3N, and Halo Halo or Saba Con Yellow. Most of these dishes use the saba or cardaba banana cultivar. Bananas are also commonly used in cuisine in the South Indian state of Kerala, where they are steamed, made into curries, fried into chips, or fried in batter. Paisang goreng, bananas fried with batter similar to the Filipino maruya or Kerala Paz Hampuri, is a popular dessert in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. A similar dish is known in the United Kingdom and United States as banana fritters. Plantains are used in various stews and curries or cooked, baked, or mashed in much the same way as potatoes, such as the Pasham Pashadi dish prepared in Kerala. Seeded bananas, one of the forerunners of the common domesticated banana, are sold in markets in Indonesia. Banana hearts are used as a vegetable in South Asian and Southeast Asian cuisine, either raw or steamed with DIPs or cooked in soups, curries, and fried foods. The flavor resembles that of artichoke. As with artichokes, both the fleshy part of the bracts and the heart are edible. Banana leaves are large, flexible, and waterproof. They are often used as ecologically friendly disposable food containers or as plates in South Asia and several Southeast Asian countries. In Indonesian cuisine, banana leaf is employed in cooking method called peeps and batok. The banana leaf packages containing food ingredients and spices are cooked on steam, in boiled water or grilled on charcoal. In the South Indian states of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and Kerala in every occasion the food must be served in a banana leaf and as a part of the food a banana is served. Steamed with dishes they impart a subtle sweet flavor. They often serve as a wrapping for grilling food. The leaves contain the juices, protect food from burning and add a subtle flavor.
In Tamil Nadu leaves are fully dried and used as packing material for foodstuffs and also making cups to hold liquid foods. In Central American countries, banana leaves are often used as wrappers for tamales. The tender core of the banana plant's trunk is also used in South Asian and Southeast Asian cuisine, and notably in the Burmese dish Mohinga. Banana fiber harvested from the pseudo-stems and leaves of the plant has been used for textiles in Asia since at least the 13th century. Both fruit-bearing and fibrous varieties of the banana plant have been used. In the Japanese system Kija, Kabasha, Fu, leaves and shoots are cut from the plant periodically to ensure softness. Harvested shoots are first boiled in lye to prepare fibers for yarn making. These banana shoots produce fibers of varying degrees of softness, yielding yarns and textiles with differing qualities for specific uses. For example, the outermost fibers of the shoots are the coarsest, and are suitable for tablecloths, while the softest innermost fibers are desirable for kimono and kamishimo. This traditional Japanese cloth making process requires many steps, all performed by hand. In a Nepalese system the trunk is harvested instead, and small pieces are subjected to a softening process, mechanical fiber extraction, bleaching, and drying. After that, the fibers are sent to the Kathmandu Valley for use in rugs with a silk-like texture. These banana fiber rugs are woven by traditional Nepalese hand knotting methods, and are sold rug mark certified. In South Indian state of Tamil Nadu after harvesting for fruit the trunk is made into fine thread used in making of flower garlands instead of thread. In India, a banana fiber separator machine has been developed which takes the agricultural waste of local banana harvests and extracts strands of the fiber. Banana fiber is used in the production of banana paper. Banana paper is made from two different parts, the bark of the banana plant, mainly used for artistic purposes, or from the fibers of the stem and non-usable fruits. The paper is either handmade or by industrial process. Now I don't think much of the man that throws a banana peelin on the sidewalk, and I don't think much of the banana peel that throws a man on the sidewalk neither, my foot hit the banana peelin and I went up in the air, and I come down kerplunk, just as I was pickin' myself up a little boy come runnin' across the street, he says, oh mister, won't you please do that agin? My little brother didn't see you do it. In Burma, bunches of green bananas surrounding a green coconut in a tray form an important part of traditional offerings to the Buddha and the Nats. In all the important festivals and occasions of Hindus, the serving of bananas plays a prominent part. Traditionally in Tamil marriages, banana plants are tied on both sides of the entrance of houses to bless the newlyweds to be useful to each other. The banana is one of three fruits with this significance, the others being mango and jackfruit. In Thailand, it is believed that a certain type of banana plants may be inhabited by a spirit, Nang Tani, a type of ghost related to trees and similar plants that manifests itself as a young woman. Often people tie a length of colored satin cloth around the pseudo-stem of the banana plants. In Malay folklore, the ghost known as Pontianak is associated with banana plants, and its spirit is said to reside in them during the day. There is a long racist history of describing people of African descent as being more like monkeys than humans, and due to the assumption in popular culture that monkeys like bananas, bananas have been used in symbolic acts of hate speech. In April 2014, during a match at Villarreal S Stadium, El Madrigal, Danny Alves was targeted by Villarreal supporter David Campaleo, 
who threw a banana at him. Alves picked up the banana, peeled it and took a bite, and the meme went viral on social media in support of him. Racist taunts are an ongoing problem in football. Bananas were hung from nooses around the campus of American University in May 2017 after the student body elected its first black woman student government president. The Unicode standard includes the emoji character U plus 1 F 34 C. OE banana. Peeled, whole and longitudinal section. A bunch of Cavendish bananas. Kilauan and a Pusa ng saging, a Filipino dish using banana flowers. Nicaraguan and a ca tamales, in banana leaves, ready to be steamed. Kaeng yuyuk is a northern Thai curry made with the core of the banana plant. Pisang goreng fried banana coated in batter, popular snack in Indonesia. Banana in sweet gravy, known as pengat pisang in Malaysia. Banana tree showing fruit and inflorescence. Banana inflorescence, partially opened. Wild banana with flowers and stem growing in reverse direction seen in RA Copyright Union. Female flowers have petals and other flower parts at the tip of the ovary. Wild banana with flowers and stem growing in reverse direction seen in Kodagu, India. Unicode Other Uses Gallery Bibliography